Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you people have been asking me in my recent videos saying, Hey Vimal, can you make a video on a laptop that is good for office purpose and work from home and at the same time it should be like lightweight and portable, easy to carry. And that is the reason I'm making this video. Today we have a brand new laptop in the house and this one is from Asus. Asus has recently launched this new model guys called the Expert Book B9 2021 edition powered by Intel's 11th gen CPU. And let me tell you, this is the world's lightest 14 inch laptop that is mainly targeted for business people and you know all the professionals and today in this video we're gonna unbox it and I'll be sharing my complete experience and review on the product so let's get started Alright guys, so here is our brand new laptop from Asus, the ExpertBook B9 2021 edition part by Intel's 11th gen CPUs. It comes in this sort of box packaging, looks like a simple cardboard box with just the Asus branding everywhere and at the back side we got the details regarding the model. The model we'll be reviewing today is B9400CE. It comes with a 14 inch IPS LED backlit display, it's part by Intel's 11th gen i7, has 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 2 TB PCI Gen 3 SSD. So those were some of the main specs of the laptop. Without wasting any more time, let's get started with the unboxing. So the outer box is not the actual packaging of the laptop. Inside you've got some more boxes and you also get a free carry case for the laptop. Looks like it's the same one that you usually get with the Zenbook series. Good quality bag has this nice fabric finish and feels quite premium. Keeping that aside, now let me show you the actual box of the laptop. There you go, this is the laptop box packaging, very compact box, it says ASUS expert book at the top side. Let me just quickly open up the box and show you the laptop. By the way, the laptop is only available in one color for now, which is called as the star black and there you go, a brand new laptop in the hands. My god, is this for real? The laptop feels very lightweight in the hand. I think it's only around like 1 kg guys and looks very clean and gorgeous. We'll just come back to the laptop in a moment. Keeping that aside, let me also show you what else we get in the box packaging. I guess we've got some paperwork. Yep, you have some paper, guys. Just make sure to read them. And that's it in this box. Along with that, you also get an accessory box in the main package. And let me tell you, Asus has done something eco-friendly so that you can use this box as a stand for the laptop also. That is very creative. And inside this package, you've got some cables and stuff. Like there's a micro HDMI to LAN port cable, a 65 watt compact fast charger for the laptop, and lastly, a mains card for the adapter. That's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Alright guys, so that was our unboxing part. Now what I'll do is I'll give you all a closer look at the laptop and then we'll talk about the design and the build quality. So there you go guys, this is how our brand new Asus 11th gen ExpertBook B9 2021 edition laptop looks like. And let me tell you from my first impressions, the laptop looks awesome. First thing I have to tell you is about the size and the weight. The laptop is very compact. It's just the size of around like A4 sheet paper and it's also very lightweight. Uh, it's actually available in like two different variants. The first one comes with a 33 watt hour battery and that one is like super lightweight, weighs around 880 grams. The one we have right now comes with a 66 watt hour battery and this one weighs around like one kg. I'd say this one is also like pretty lightweight. You won't even feel like you're actually carrying a laptop with you when you just put it in your backpack and if you ask about the looks and the build quality as you can see the laptop looks like quite minimalistic it's got a clean simple design yet looks elegant and this laptop is actually available in only one color which the brand is calling it as starry black but you know it sort of looks like deep navy blue uh, sort of finish and it has a matte sort of finish on it guys and doesn't attract fingerprints also that is one plus point you've just got the asus mirror finish logo at the center and that is pretty much it there is nothing else over it and if you ask about the build quality build quality is also excellent guys the whole body of the laptop is made of a super lightweight material known as uh, magnesium lithium alloy that is much lighter than magnesium aluminum alloy so what i'll do is i'll give you all a closer look and show you all the available connectivity ports on this laptop starting off from the left side over here you can see that you've got two USB Type-C ports that also support Thunderbolt 4.0. Pretty sweet, right? Beside that, you've got a HDMI port and then you've got a micro HDMI port as well beside that. Well, that's it on the left side. Now going to the front, over here, you've got a special Alexa light bar as well. And on the right side, you've got some status LED indicator, like there's a storage access indicator, battery charging indicator. There's also a 3.5mm 
audio port, a full sized USB 3.2 port and lastly Kensington lock. So these were all the available connectivity ports on it. I felt the connectivity ports were a bit limited. I wish it had like two USB 3.2 type A ports that would have uh, been like very awesome. Anyways, moving to the back side, there's nothing over here guys. And this is how the laptop's bottom panel looks like. You've got an exhaust vent over here to let the heat escape, some rubber foot pads on all the corners. And you see these two grills on the bottom left and right corners. These are the speakers on it. It's got stereo down firing speakers. And if you ask about the upgradability part, well, the RAM on it comes soldered, so that is not upgradable. The model we have comes with 32 GB DDR4 RAM and that too in dual channel configuration. And if you ask about the storage, it's got two NVMe PCI slots and both of them are occupied with 2TB PCI Gen 3 storage. So that is pretty much it guys, our complete overview on the design and the build quality. Now what I'll do is I'll just quickly open up the laptop and show you the interior of the laptop as well. And as soon as you open it, the first thing you'll notice is this design. Just like most of the other ASUS laptops, even this one features ASUS ErgoLift hinge design. That means whenever you open the laptop, right, you get a small gap created on the bottom side, which adds some benefits to you. First thing is it improves the thermal performance of the laptop because see, there's a gap created, right? So there's like much better airflow happening right now. And not only that, it also improves your keyboard typing angle. And because of that, you'll feel more uh, comfortable while using it and second it also improves your audio listening experience so that is about the hinge design and if you come to the display my god just have a look at that display asus is now coming up with a four-sided nano edge bezel design and just look at those bezels bezels are like very thin on this laptop it's got like only 4 mm thin bezels on all the sides and looks pretty awesome and if you ask about the display specs, it comes with a 14 inch 1080p IPS LED backlit display. Now going to the top side, you'll observe that you've got a 720p HD webcam and quad microphone system. So there you go, you can even use it for your online meetings, conferences and even online classes as well. So it's pretty nice for these sort of stuff. And not only that, it also features a proximity sensor just beside the camera. And this one is like super useful because it automatically detects whenever you're in front of the laptop and you know, it automatically unlocks as unlocks your laptop also. That feature is also there. And whenever you just move out of the laptop, it automatically locks the laptop also so that nobody else can use the laptop. Pretty nice features. And one good thing that Asus has done with the webcam is they've included a mechanical shutter to close the camera when you're not using it. And they're calling it as webcam shield option. This is like super useful and a must have feature on every laptop guys. So that was about the upper half section. Now let me just give you a closer look on the lower half and then we'll discuss about the keyboard and the touchpad. The ASUS ExpertBook B9 comes with a full-sized LED backlit chiclet keyboard and the quality of the keyboard is very good. It offers a nice and comfortable typing experience. The quality of the keys is nice, feel tactile and clicky with a key travel of around 1.4 mm and you'll have a quite satisfactory experience. The only thing is the brightness of the keyboard backlighting is not adjustable. You only have two steps on and off and I felt the brightness was a bit dim. Now coming to the touchpad, it's got a wide premium touchpad covered in glass and quality of the touchpad is very good. It easily recognizes all my gestures and inputs and I had no issues with it. I didn't face any sorts of dead zones also and the good thing about it is it also comes with ASUS number pad 2.0. That means the number pad is built into the touchpad itself and you can easily toggle it by long touching this shortcut on the top right corner. Just like this. Even the brightness of this number pad is easily adjustable and you can even use touch functions on top of this number pad as well. And not to forget, this is an enterprise level laptop made specially for business purpose, right? So you have some extra security features, like you do have fingerprint scanner to the right, just beside the trackpad. And it also has an IR camera on it, which automatically unlocks your laptop whenever you just sit right in front of the laptop. Now let's talk about the main aspects of the laptop, starting with the display. As mentioned at the beginning, the laptop comes with a 14 inch 1080p IPS uh, LED backlit display and the display quality is very good for the price. There's great amount of detail, the text on it is like easily readable, everything is like crisp and sharp and if you ask about the colors, the colors were also rich and vibrant. It supports 100% sRGB color gamut, right? So you can even use it for your productive and creative sort of applications like photo editing, video editing, no issues over here. 
color accuracy was also pretty nice and dynamic range was also decent contrast levels were fine black levels were also good and if you ask about the white balance that was also on point no issues anywhere and coming to the audio the expert book b9 features stereo down firing speakers powered by herman kardon and the audio quality was pretty decent it was producing great clarity with minimum distortion and the audio output was also satisfactory just check out these clips you'll get an idea on that Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with an exciting video and we have a mystery PC from Asus. Thing is, Asus did say me that they were sending me a PC but I was not sure about the model or what actually they were sending me. And let me tell you, this is not your regular PC or gaming PC also. It's completely different. It's an AIO PC guys, which is basically like an all-in-one solution. See, it's like a complete all-in-one system. That means you don't have separate CPU. Now let's talk about the main part, the performance. ExpertBook B9 is powered by Intel's newest 11th gen CPUs and the one we have right now comes with i7-1165G7, which is a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a max turbo boost of up to 4.7GHz and has Intel Iris Xe graphics on board. Pair that with 32GB of DDR4 dual-channel RAM and 2TB PCI Gen3 SSD, boom, amazing performance on the go. This laptop can handle most of your tasks quite easily without any sweat. I've ran Google Chrome with dozen tabs open and the laptop didn't even flinch guys. You can easily do your photo editing and even 1440p video editing smoothly. But don't expect it to handle graphic intensive sort of applications as there is no dedicated GPU on it. One more thing I forgot to mention is the laptop is also Intel Evo platform certified. Not every model has this because they have to pass certain tests like the laptop should be responsive and wake from sleep in less than a second, should offer a minimum of 9 to 10 hours battery life and also support fast charging. And the ExpertBook B9 ticks all of these. Now if you ask about gaming, well this is not actually made for gaming but yes you can even do a bit of casual gaming. You can easily play most of the basic and highly optimized games like even GTA 5 at 1080p resolution in normal graphics and easily get around like 45 fps on an average. Lower down the resolution to get a consistent 60 fps results. So we are almost coming to an end right, let me tell you about the battery life. I would highly recommend you to get the 66 watt hour battery variant as it offers excellent battery life which I found during my testing. On a typical usage like browsing the web, slight photo editing, streaming videos on YouTube, Netflix with the brightness set to 60%, I was getting around 10 to 11 hours of battery life. And the good thing about it is, it also supports fast charging and goes from 0 to 60% in less than 40 minutes. Well guys, that's it for today. That was my video on the new ExpertBook B9 2021 edition powered by Intel's 11th gen CPUs. It's a great laptop for office or work purpose. Very compact, lightweight, offers good performance on the go, has a nice display and excellent battery life. The only few cons I felt were, it's got limited connectivity ports and the display brightness could also have been a bit higher. It'll be available to buy in India soon and the pricing starts at 1,15,000 rupees for the base variant. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got complete info on the product. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.